Welcome to live coverage of Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. It's Republic and Carthage getting set to go here. Carthage comes into the game with a 9-11 and 11 record. They are 0-2 in the COC, losses to Ozark and Webb City. Republic riding a six-game winning streak, and they are 2-0 in the conference, 13-4 overall. Their last loss was on December 30th against Skyline, and the Lady Tigers have won 10 COC games in a row. Dating back to the very beginning of the conference season last year, they lost their opener at Carl Junction and haven't lost since, looking for their 11th straight COC win tonight, and they will try to do it here at Carthage. We're going to take a timeout and be back with more of the Absolute Roofing Retmo Basketball pregame show on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Welcome back, just about ready to go. Republic and Carthage, it's a super night, and so we'll have the boys game right after this. We'll, when this game's over, we'll shut down this program on YouTube and fire up a new one, but it will be, uh, it will be a double header here tonight. Republic and Carthage, we're gonna have the national anthem played here by the Carthage pep band, and so we'll let you listen in to that.
just about ready for starting lineups to be introduced, and I'll give them to you now. Starting with Carthage, I mentioned they're 9 and 11, 0 and 2, looking for their first COC win of the season. And here are their starters. Number three, Lauren Schott, 5'7", junior guard. Number 10 is Ashlyn Brust, a five-foot junior guard. Number 11, Jaden Bruner. She's a forward at 5'6", a junior. Number 15 is Maggie Boyd. She's a 5'8", junior, also a guard. And Lexi Youngblood is number 25. She is a 5'10 guard and also a junior. Carthage coached by Scott Moore. Republic coached by Chris Flood, 13 and four, two and all in the COC. And here's their starting lineup. It'll be familiar to you. Number one, Masora Nambara is a senior at 5'4". She's one guard, so is Lauren Chastain, a 5'6 senior guard. Chastain leading the team in both rebounds and assists. Molly Blades is a 5'5 senior guard. Number 12, Alex Price is a senior at 5'5 as well, a guard, number 15. And the forward on the inside, 5'11, a senior, Elena Norman. So it's Nambara, Chastain, Blades, Price, and Norman for Republic. And for Carthage, it's Schott, Brust, Bruner, Boyd, and Youngblood. Republic has won 17 games in a row against Carthage. Last time they lost was all the way back in 2012. And since 2007, the Lady Tigers are 20 and two against Carthage, and they'll try to keep that streak alive here tonight. Pretty good crowd here on a Friday night. Lady Tigers on the floor waiting for Carthage to break the huddle and come out. This Carthage team has had trouble scoring at times. They only scored four points in the first several minutes of their game at Ozark and had a real problem just even getting the offense uh, run well enough to get shots off through that early stretch. So they are vulnerable uh, to a solid defense. And the Lady Tigers win the tip and get the ball first. And Molly Blades takes the three and hits it. And we've got a whistle and something's on the floor. Don't know if somebody lost a hair tie or what that was. So Blades with a three makes it three nothing Republic right off the bat. And the Lady Tigers will press. Speaking of vulnerable to defensive pressure or good defense, Lady Tigers pressured the ball, didn't trap in the backcourt. And they open up in a man-to-man -man defense. Very loose man-to-man. -man. There's a three, and at the other end, Jaden Bruner hits the three and ties it up. So they laid off Jaden Brunner, and she knocked it in. Turnaround jumper by Chastain, a little bit short. Brunner with the rebound, and then stolen back by Chastain, and a tie-up. It'll go back to Carthage on the alternating possession because Republic won the opening tip. Again, the defense extended, but... Not really a press. Blade stays on the uh, ball handler coming up court, Boyd. And everybody else peeled back. Now Nambara guarding Schott. Schott gave a little shove there up at the top of the circle. And now Price reached in, knocked it away, and Chastain ends up with it. Up ahead to Blade. She puts it on the floor one time, and the layup rolls around and goes in. And it's 5-0 Republic. Just underway here, uh, varsity doubleheader, girls then boys. There's a long three from the head of the circle, no good. Chastain with a board. 
And she'll push it into the front court, take it all the way to the free throw line, kick it back out to Blades for three. That one is no good. And a rebound tipped by Nambara, and they're going to call her for a foul. So Nambara reached in and tried to poke it away, and they said she got her in the arm. Watch Nambara from the free throw line. She crashes, but got whistled for the contact. First foul of the game on Republic. 5-3 here in the early going. That time the Lady Tigers showed a little trap, and from behind, Nambara reached in and knocked it away, gave it to Norman, then to Price. Price out of a double team, throws it to Chastain, takes it to the free throw line, wrap around, pass down low to Blades, and Molly Blades has seven points already. Great start for Molly Blades, and the Lady Tigers, 7-3. Carthage beats the pressure, they get it down low for an easy layup to James Bruner. Brunard has all five for Carthage. And right now, the game is offensively just Blades against Brunard. Blades has seven. Brunard has five. And that's the extent of the scoring so far. 5.20 left in the first. Blades comes out to get it. Throws it to Chastain. She drives. Throws it back out to Blades. Now to Nambara. They wrap it down in the corner to Price. Her three is good. Lady Tigers red hot at the start. The second three of the quarter. Alex Price. And it's 10-5. And a three at the other end. Both teams shooting well. So Brunard has all eight points for Carthage. I think it took him about 10 minutes to get this many points in the game at Ozark. Down low to Norman, and she missed the layup. Got a little too far underneath, and then the pass tipped, I think, by Blades. And Blades has the shot blocked out of bounds, but she is fouled on the way up. So Molly Blades will go to the line already with seven points. She's got a three-pointer, two two-pointers, and now she'll try to add a couple of free throws to that. Price also with a three here in the early going. First one good by Molly Blades. And she made them both. left in the quarter, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Carthage. And Lauren Schott, number three, will throw it in right of the basket on the baseline. They lob it up top to Youngblood, and she dribbled it off her leg, and Chastain picked it up. Good job by Chastain, keeping it away from the defender, and a pull-up jumper in the lane is good by Nambara. So Masora Nambara makes it 14 to eight. Six-point lead is the biggest so far for Republic. And another good defensive stop and a tie-up after the ball was loose momentarily. Republic will get it back on that. Molly Mason will check out. Elena Norman has a seat on the bench. So a six-point lead in the ball for Republic. In the corner to Price, back to Chastain, and then up top to Blades, down in the middle to Mason, who pivots, throws it to Nambara for three. That one no good. Mason kept it alive, went right to Chastain, up and in. Good job by Mason to get a hand on it, keep it alive. Chastain put it in, and she is the fourth Lady Tiger to score already in the first five minutes of this game. Ashlyn Brust, bounce pass to Bruner, and then to Schott. Schott around a screen, takes it to the far side of the court to Brust, and Brust threw it right to Chastain. 
That's got to be like four or five steals for Lauren Chastain already. Not to mention the rebounds she's picked up. Nambara down to Mason, turns off the glass, no good. Kind of had a bad angle on that one, and Schott gets the rebound, but Blades takes it back, throws it across the lane to Nambara. She faked out the defender who was not there and, and put up the shot and made it. That's four points now for Nambara, and Scott Moore wants a timeout. It's 18-8 Republic with 2.26 left in the first quarter. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. We return to action, and right off the bat, Molly Blades gets a steal and lays it in. So it's 20 to 8. Driving layup, and too far under the basket on the shot by Lexi Youngblood. Other end, a miss, and Laney Strong, who just checked in, got the rebound. It's a tie-up, and Carthage will get it back. 20 to 8 the score. Republic has scored 10 points in a row. Under two minutes to go, and now the Lady Tigers in a little half court trap. Carthage threw out of it, and a long three by Schott rolled around and wouldn't go, and Mason got the rebound. Gives it to Blades, then Nambara to bring it into the front court with a minute and a half left in the quarter. This one has been all Lady Tigers, Republic Lady Tigers so far. And the ball thrown over the head of Nambara by Blades, out of bounds. So a rare turnover by Republic in this one. The JV boys won their game in this gym, 57-43. I have not heard what happened with the Game in the back gym. Almost a steal by Chastain again. Instead, Schoke picks it up and takes it to the basket and puts it in. And that ends the 10-0 run by Republic. Makes it 20-10. to Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Strong in the corner, throws it to Chastain in the middle, and she pulls it out beyond the three-point line. Now to Blades on the right wing, takes it between the circles, throws it to Strong, and then to Chastain, and now to Nambara. With 34 seconds left in the quarter, looks like the Lady Tigers will hold it for one. And unless that happens, they left a wide open lane to the basket, and Chastain took it, drew the defense, and threw it to Strong underneath. And Strong is now the fifth player to score in the quarter. They were going to hold it for one, but Chastain looked up and saw nobody anywhere near her or between her and the basket. Three grazes the front of the rim. Blades grabs a rebound. Five seconds left. Ahead to Chastain. Running out of time. She's got to shoot. Or someone does. Blades missed it at the buzzer. But it's all Republic in the first quarter. 22 to 10 the score. We'll take a break and be back with the second quarter after this timeout. You're watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care. Exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. 
Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our By the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Republic gets the ball to start the second quarter. They outscored Carthage 22 to 10 in the first quarter, and that means a $10 donation by Destiny Church to the price tag in Locker 518, offering free clothing to students in the Republic School District who need it. It's a great cause, and we appreciate Destiny Church's support of that cause and their support of Republic Tiger Sports. And on the first possession of the second quarter, Molly Mason scores it easily in the middle, and she is the sixth player now to score for Republic so far in the game, and it's 24 to 10. Foul on Republic on the drive. Molly, Mle Molly Mason, or rather Molly Blades with 11 points. She leads all scorers. Four for Missouri and Ambara, three for Alex Price, two for Lauren Chastain. And the first free throw is good by Brust. Foul was on Laney Strong. One more free throw coming for Ashlyn Brust. And she made them both. Twenty-four twelve. And there's a long three by Strong. That one bounds up, hits the top of the backboard, then comes back in. I guess it hit the edge of the backboard and not the top. And a drive by Nambara. Mason got the rebound, gave it to Nambara, and she scored. Everything going right for Republic here early, 26-12. Eight points for Jaden Brunert, leads Carthage through one quarter. And two for Lauren Schott. And a foul on Nambara. Two points also now for Ashlyn Bruce here in the second quarter. Nambara's got six after that last ba uh, basket. That was the first personal foul on Nambara. Free throw is good by Maggie Boyd. First point for Boyd. Next free throw is no good, and Mason grabs the rebound. So it's 26-13. Price to Gracie Woods, who checked in. Nambara spins and walked, I think, yep. She spun away from the defender, and that was a good move, but then she picked up that back foot before she got rid of the ball. Watch her. There's one spin, but that little extra step is what cost her. And it's 26-13. Trap at half court. And another turnover. Price tried to throw it to Woods. Might have gotten tipped on the way out, but it was touched last by Woods. So Carthage gets it back. And 
Youngblood scores at the other end. I understand we're having some problems with the picture, and I'm trying to figure that out. Inside and up and in, Elena Norman. So now Norman scores, and she is the seventh player to score for Republic in this one already. Miss at the other end, and a foul against Carthage after the ball was up in the air. Foul is called on Carthage, number 10, Ashley Russ. First personal, first team foul, the second for the Blue White Tigers, checking for Republic is number 12, Molly Blades. Lombara drives baseline, throws it to Norman, and her shot falls off the rim. Carthage yeah. trying to get the lead down under 13. Three-pointer is off the mark. Norman grabs the rebound. Stain with four now. And another miss by Carthage, another rebound for Chastain. Nambara turned around, she was double teamed and got out of it pretty easily and then they take it down to the other end. Turn around by Norman down on the block. That one's good. Four points for her, and it is now 32 to 15. Timeout Carthage. We'll take one as well. Back with more after this. You're watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Turn to action, a miss by Republic. And then a baseline jumper is good by Lauren Schott. Four points now for her. That makes it 32-17. Trying to get the video issues figured out here. And I think, I think it's just that this uh, school is built with uh, extremely thick concrete walls. Having a problem getting multiple signals out of here, which is not what we normally do. And a shot in the middle by Chastain fell off, but she got fouled, and she will have a chance to shoot here.
Chastain makes one of two. And it's 33 17. Three pointer from the right wing is no good, and Chastain grabs a rebound with two and a half or thereabouts left in the first half. Ball poked away. And the lob into Strong, and she barely got it. Almost knocked out of there by Jaden Bruner. Chastain will drive and then cut off, throws it to Norma. And she turns around, tried to lay it off the glass, no good. Ball is tipped around, and a foul is going to be called, I think, on Molly Blades. No, nope, Lanny Strong. Second foul on Strong. Gracie Woods will check in for Missouri and Ambara. Shoke with her second basket in quick succession makes it 33 19. Price left open. She'll take a three, left it short, and the ball rebounded by Schote over in the corner. Brings it up the sideline, crosses over, past Price, bounces it across the lane and off the hands of Bruner. Schote did everything right there, but Bruner couldn't hang on to the pass. And Republic will get it back, leading by 14. Maggie Boyd checks back in. And Trisha Kanas has a seat on the bench, number 33. A minute and a half left in the first half, a 14-point lead for Republic. Mason drives and muscled it up, got the foul, didn't get the shot to go. First free throw by Mason is good. Three points now for Molly Mason. And she made them both. So Mason with four. 35-19. called on Gracie Woods. That's the fourth team foul, so Carthage will be shooting free throws if Republic commits another foul in this quarter. Blades was there defensively, and Boyd did a good job of getting around her, but had to just sort of scoop it up at that point, and then commits the foul. Second personal foul on Maggie Boyd, and Republic has it. With 108 left to go in the half. Mason gives it up to Woods. And the Lady Tigers pull it back out with 45 seconds left. Mason again, out of blades in the corner. Lady Tigers look like they're running it, holding it for one shot. But again, they were gonna do that at the end of the first quarter. And a lane opened up and Chastain took it there and ended up getting an assist out of it. I think it was Laney Strong who scored that one right at the end of the first quarter. 
15 seconds left. Price gets away from the defender. And timeout called by Chris Flood. 7.6 seconds left. And he's going to have to draw up something that develops in a hurry here. With seven seconds remaining. We'll take a break. Be back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Welcome back. 7.6 seconds left, and Republic has the ball. Trying to build on a 35-19 lead. Throw it into Blades. Goes around a pick from Price. Defender is there. Time running out. Strong's got the shot, and she missed everything with it. And time expires. But a great first half for Republic. It's 35-19 as we go to the break. And we'll take a timeout and be back with the Gold Medal Gems Halftime Show after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. Welcome back to the Gold Medal Gems Halftime Show. Republic on top of Carthage 35-19. to Republic outscored Carthage 22-10 to in the first quarter. 
and then outscored them 13 to 9 in the second quarter to lead it by 16 here at half. And because Republic outscored Carthage in both of those first two quarters, for each quarter it's a $10 donation, a total of $20 to the price tag and locker 518 providing free clothing to students in the Republic School District who need it. It's a great cause and we appreciate Destiny Church's support of that cause and their support of Republic Tiger Sports. Great start to the game for Molly Blades. She had 11 points all in the first quarter and she leads all scorers here with 11 at halftime. Six points for Missora Nambara. Five points for Lauren Chastain. Four for Molly Mason. Four for Elena Norman. Three for Alex Price. And two for Laney Strong. Carthage was led by Jaden Bruner. She had eight points, all of hers in the first quarter. So both the leading scorers, Bruner and Blades, scored all their points in the first quarter and then were shut down in the second quarter. Six points for Lauren Schott. Two for Alexa Youngblood, two for Ashlyn Brust, and one for Maggie Boyd. 35-19, the score here at halftime. Republic on top by 16. Reminder, we'll have the boys game right after this. We'll start a new program, a new YouTube program after this one's over. And I know we've had some video problems, but uh, I'm recording here locally, so at some point over the weekend, I'll upload the uh, corrected version of the video, and that should fix any problems we've had uh, with the video here tonight. We're going to take another break and be back with more of our Gold Medal Gym's halftime show after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit, and we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com.
For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now, with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Welcome back to the Gold Medal Gym's Halftime Show. Lady Tigers leading Carthage 35-19. to JV Boys won here in this gym earlier, 57-43. to Haven't heard any other uh, scores. Good luck to the Lady Tigers swimmers. They are at the Southwest Missouri Invite this weekend, and that is one of the biggest meets uh, of the season. And they're rounding into shape, trying to get uh, improve those times to get uh, relay qualified for state coming up in a few weeks. So that season's going to be winding down pretty soon. And then it'll be wrestling and then basketball. Coming down to the stretch of winter sports already. Hard to believe. Good luck to the JV wrestlers tomorrow. They've got their COC meet. And then it'll be Nixa in Republic on Monday and Tuesday. So big nights coming up for the girls and boys basketball teams as Nixa visits on Monday and Tuesday. Carthage gets the ball to start the second half. Maggie Boyd has it, guarded by Molly Blades. Maggie Boyd, Molly Blades. Now, Lexa Youngblood gets it, guarded by Norman, tries to get around her on the baseline, nothing doing, and then throws it to Schott. Schott guarded by Nambara, takes it to the free throw line, spins back to her right, throws it to Brust. Her three is well off the mark, and it's tipped out of bounds, touch last by Republic. 11 points for Molly Blades, leads Republic here in this one. All of those came in the first quarter. Brust to Boyd, and Boyd gives it to Youngblood. She'll take a three-pointer. It's good. Three-pointers good. Let's say Youngblood draws first blood for Carthage here in the second half. 35-22. Chastain. Throws it out to Nambara. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. Nambara in the middle. Bounces it once. Throws it to Price on the perimeter. And she pulls it out. Back to Chastain. Now to Nambara. Open for three. Good. Nambara answers. And she's got nine points now. 38-22. Crossover dribble, and then throw it back to Youngblood. She drives on Norman and gives it to Boyd. Now to Lauren Schote. Schote is spelled C-H-O-A-T-E, but it sounds like S-H-O-A-T-E. And another three is good by Youngblood. So Youngblood has stepped out past the, uh, the three-point arc and made two three-pointers. And it's 38-25, Nambara tried to throw it down to Norman, tipped out of bounds by Brust. Chastain in the middle to Blade. She's open for three. That one is no good. Long and a rebound on the weak side. Grabbed by Maggie Boyd. Miss at the other end by Carthage, and Chastain gets it back to Nambara.
Lady Tigers have come out a little bit flat here in the second half. When you lead by 16 points at halftime, sometimes not easy to keep the spark, but Norman scores there. She's got six points now. 40-25. And a driving layup is too long. Blades grabs the rebound. Schott got to the bucket but didn't score. And then Blades threw it away. Tried to thread the needle to Norman. And it was tipped out of there. So here comes Carthage. On the right wing, Schultz three is no good. Blades tipped it, and it goes out and kept alive by Schultz. Drive by Boyd. Spin move in the lane, scoops it up and in. That was a good move by Maggie Boyd. First field goal for her, and she's got three points. Down to 12, or uh, down to uh, 13, 40 to 27. Chastain's open for three. That one was short. It was online, just didn't have enough on it. And a rebound to Carthage. And a three-pointer, it'd get it down to 10. So this looked like it might be a turbo clock earlier, and Carthage has scored some baskets here early in the quarter. That one is off the mark by Brust, and Blades grabs the rebound. And jogs it across the timeline. Past the midway point of the quarter, a reach-in foul. Blades' shot is not going to count. She was fouled on the floor. On the baseline, a little one-hander by Blades is no good. And Carthage gets the rebound. Quick three-pointer at the other end is going to go out of bounds. Chastain, rather than grab it, just let it roll beyond the baseline. 13-point lead for the Lady Tigers, and they've got the ball. Dombaro will walk it up court. Republic has beaten Carthage 17 times in a row. Haven't lost to Carthage since 2012. And Blades is open again. She'll take another one. That one's good. Molly Blades. It's out of a little mini slump. She hadn't scored since the first quarter, and it's 43 to 27. Back to a 16-point lead, which was where it was at halftime. 2.49 left in the third. Blades almost with the steal, and that's a five-second call. Good defense by Molly Blades. Watch her, how close she stays all the way through. You can see the official counting over on the far side. Finally blows the whistle, and Blades forces the turnover. Laney Strong to Gracie Woods in the corner. Now they go back up top to Blades. Strong. Two and a half left in the third. In the corner, Gracie Woods. Oh, nice. Instead of inside out, that was outside in from Strong back to Mason. Six points now for Molly Mason, 45-27. Three-pointer, no good, and Gracie Woods with a rebound to Blades. Republic's picked up the intensity just a little bit since the first couple of minutes of the half. Came out flat. Chris Flood wants a timeout with 143 left in the third quarter. We will take a timeout as well. Back with more after this. You're watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our By the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. Gracie Woods fouled on the way up. Makes the first free throw. And made them both. So that makes the lead 20, 47 to 27. And a three is good by Jaden Brunert. Brunert hadn't scored since the first quarter. Now she has. Blade splits the double team and gets, tried to throw it. Thought she's got through the double team, but it got tipped. And a foul down at the other end on the fast break. That's the first foul of the quarter called against Republic. And it's on Molly Mason. That's her first. And Lawrence Schoke will shoot free throws. Makes it 47 31. And Republic has it with less than 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter, leading now by 16. They had it to 20 just a minute ago. Nearing the 10 second mark of the third quarter. Strong throws it to Blades. Five seconds left to Woods. And Woods to Strong on the left wing. She takes a three, and it goes in at the buzzer. That's a three for Laney Strong. It gives her five points, and it makes it a 19-point lead, 50 to 31. 
We'll take a break and be back with the fourth quarter after this timeout. You're watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's Far Better Plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Republic gets the ball to start the fourth quarter. Leading by 19, 50 to 31. They outscored Carthage again in the third quarter, 15 to 12, and that means another $10 donation by Destiny Church to the price tag and Locker 518. It's a great cause, offering free clothing to students in the Republic School District who need it. And we appreciate Republic. Uh, we appreciate Destiny Church for their support of that cause and their support of Republic Tiger Sports. Lauren Chastain will check in for Alex Price. Seven and a half left in the game. Republic up by 19. Maggie Boyd got away with travel. Throws it down to Brunert, who drives the lane, missed the shot. Nobody was there to get the rebound. She missed it again, and then Mason got it. And she is fouled on the way down. She was falling and got pulled down, basically. Chastain tried to pass it to Woods, and it's intercepted by Youngblood. Youngblood turns and hands it to Schott. And then in the middle, there's a foul on Republic. It's on the floor, and Schott picks up the foul. Gracie Woods commits the foul. That is two personal fouls on Gracie Woods in the first foul of the fourth quarter on Republic. Molly Blades will check in for Gracie Woods. Boyd took the inbound pass. Back to Schott, then to Youngblood. Faked the three, drove, and left it on the front of the rim. That was a good move, but just didn't get it over the rim into the bucket. And Republic gets the rebound. Mason grabbed it. Now Nambara brings it up. Chastain to Blades, and now to Nambara. She bounces it once. Back to Chastain. Her three is short. And Strong with a rebound. She'll take it up strong, missed it, got fouled, and she'll shoot a couple of free throws. That's the second time that Chastain has shot from almost that exact same spot on the floor. It looked like it was exactly on line and just a little bit short. And that time Strong got the rebound and put it back up to draw the foul. Jaden Brunert commits the foul, and Strong makes the free throw. 
And that is the first point of the fourth quarter. It's been a minute and a half. Six points for Strong, and now seven as she makes both free throws. 52 to 31. Republic led by 16 at halftime. It was 19 at the end of three, and now it's 21. Good defense by Mason on Brust. And a steal by Blades. She's got a player coming from behind her. She got fouled from behind. That last trip down, Molly Mason, the tallest player on the floor, was guarding Brust, the shortest player on the floor. Ashlyn Brust is five foot. Molly Mason is six foot. So uh, foot difference between them, and Mason was guarding Brust. Turn around by Chastain, just didn't go, and then she reached in and committed the foul. Baseline drive, cut off defensively, and now Maggie Boyd. Long three is too long, and Mason grabs a rebound. Gives it to Chastain to bring it up court with five and a half left. Chastain to Molly Blades in the corner. She pulls it out. Now to Nambara, her three, no good. Did everything but go in, and Carthage gets the rebound. Up ahead to Brust, but Mason tracked it down first. And now Nambara back the other way for Republic. Chastain off the glass and in. That was a good double pump by Lauren Chastain. Seven points now for her, and Chris Flood calls a timeout with just under five left to go in the game. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. Carthage has the ball as we return to play here with 4.56 left to go in the game, and Schott will throw it in to Maggie Boyd. And Chris Flood had Blades and Nambara go down and shadow their players, their counterparts, all the way up floor. I wonder if he just talked about I wonder if that timeout was as about defensive intensity as much as anything. Laney Strong clapping her hands down there, down low. And a steal. So if it wasn't about defensive intensity, well, that happened anyway. And Nabara takes it all the way in and gets fouled from behind with 425 left. This game started early, but it is taking forever to play. Especially for a 23-point game. First free throw good by Nambara. That puts her in double figures with 10. She made them both, so she's got 11 points. 56-31, Republic has scored all six points here of the quarter. Fouls 
Strong commits the foul. First free throw is good by Lauren Schote. She's got nine. One thing I will say about Carthage, they are ready for spring. They got, I think they got their air conditioning on in here. It is cold. Next one good. Everybody who brought a coat is wearing a coat. Ten points now for Schote. Nambara to Price across the lane to Strong, and she backed up and missed the shot and got fouled. So now she'll shoot two free throws, and the stoppages continue. Brunert commits her third foul. Neither team can stop fouling, so this has taken quite a while to get over with. Strong hits another one. He's got three free throws here in this quarter. And that one no good. Chastain got the rebound, tied it up. And possession will stay with, no, it'll go back to Carthage. So Strong made one of two there. She has eight points. Republic has made five free throws here in this fourth quarter. Carthage has committed five fouls. They're down by 24 points. <laughs> Baseline drive. Pull-up jumper is no good by Schote, and Nambara with a rebound. Throws it up ahead to Price. Oh, back cut and reverse layup no good by Alex Price, and now we've got a foul on Laney Strong. I didn't even see her down there. She was kind of hidden under there and reached in. I did hear a slap. Yeah, there she goes and got her from behind. Everybody walked down to the other end to shoot free throws and it was only four fouls. So uh, now we've got to go walk, walk as slowly as we can down to the other end to throw it in. Everybody's just sort of milling around. Now we're ready. I think part of that slowness was substitutions by Carthage. So a lot of new names in there. McKinsey couple threw it down inside. Uh, Jenna Wilson. Lady Tigers knocked it away. Chastain takes it all the way up and hits the layup. Nine for Chastain. And it's 59 to 33. Republic has outscored Carthage nine to two here in the fourth quarter. And there's a steal. I think if, if the Lady Tigers can get it to 30, I think we'll see some substitutions by Chris Flood. I think he wants to get it to 30, but at this point, not that much time left. Maybe he'll just run clock. Nope, down to Chastain. Had it tipped away, gets it back, and throws it back up to Price. Now to Nambara. In the lane, running one-hander is good. Nasora Nambara makes it a 28-point lead. Now there's the substitution. So we are going to see the subs. It just They were hidden down there under the table waiting to come in. So a timeout call to let him in. And now the five on the floor are Sammy Watson, number 13, Elena Norman, Kaylee Cornelson, number five, Gracie Woods and Molly Mason are both still out there. So Cornelson and Sammy Watson are the two who checked in, who hadn't been in before. 2.16 left, now we're gonna stand around some more. I don't know what the, I don't know what this is for. Now we're ready. Watson almost had a steal. And then Cornelson almost had a steal. And somehow Carthage kept it, and then Molly Mason gets the steal. So Cornelson will bring it across half court with 155 left. 
for Nelson to Watson. Now to Norman in the middle. Back to Cornelson, and then down. Nice pass down low to Sammy Watson, who laid it up and in. And that makes it a 30-point lead with 137 left. In the corner. Now on the baseline. This You may have noticed this is not the best setup for a, a camera. We're right by an aisle. And we've tried it in different places, and it seems like pretty much there's no good place here. I need to bring, like, a, a fence post and put the tripod on top of the fence post. Clock continues to run. First free throw is good by Jenna Wilson. That's only the third point of the quarter for Carthage, and she made them both. Two points for Jenna Wilson. And it tells you kind of how the game went for Carthage that I think that the pep band plays the little ESPN uh, music there every time they make a free throw. I didn't even realize they did that until uh, the third quarter. Maybe they didn't do it. There were some free throws in the second quarter. Maybe I just didn't notice it. Alana Norman with the turnaround off the glass. Back to a 30-point lead. Ball knocked away, and then it goes to Cassidy Howard. She is fouled with 18 seconds left. Doesn't matter because the clock's going to keep going, but Howard's going to try and get to the line and get these shots off. And I think Scott Moore called a timeout so she could get the free throws in. First free throw, no good. Howard made the second one. And she gets a little cheer. Cornelson brings it up across half court, throws it to Watson. And time expires. Watson was holding the ball. Jenna Wilson reached in and tied her up just for the heck of it. <laughs> and they're laughing about it as time runs out. It is a 65 to 36 win for Republic. Varsity Boys coming up next. We're going to take a quick break and be back to wrap up this broadcast after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Eris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 6. Welcome back. The Lady Tigers win it over Carthage 65-36 to the final. They outscored Carthage 22-10 in the first quarter and 13-9 in the second quarter. They led it 35-19 at half. It was a 15-12 advantage in the third quarter for Republic and a 15-5 advantage in the fourth. So they win all four quarters, and that means $40 in donations by Destiny Church to the price tag and Locker 518, providing 
free clothing to students in the Republic School District who need it. Every time Republic outscores its opponent in a quarter, that's another $10 donated to that good cause by Destiny Church. We appreciate their support of that good cause and their support of Republic Tiger Sports. Republic led by Molly Blades with 14 points. Miss Ora Nambara had 13. Nine for Lauren Chastain. Eight for Laney Strong. Eight also for Elena Norman. Six for Molly Mason. And two each for Gracie Woods and Sammy Watson. Republic improves to 14 and four. They have won seven straight. And now they have won 18 straight over Carthage. They are also 3-0 in the COC. Carthage falls to 9-12, and that's their third loss in COC play. We're going to shut this program down and fire it back up with a new program for the boys' game. And uh, we'll have that one for you here in a couple of minutes. Lady Tigers win at 65-36. Thanks for watching Lady Tigers basketball on Republic Tiger Sports.